Hi guys, how you doing? Cat13x here. Um, finally, after ages, um, people have been asking me to do a glitch video. Um, how to do it. Um, basically, I do it a slightly different way. Um, there's kind of, I find like C++ really hard to use. So, what we're going to do today is just basically go over a random glitch. Um, what you want to do is get um, Windows Paint and you can still get this under the Windows Essentials 2012 um, I think you can still get the download on the website because it was for Windows 7 but it's no longer supported so you can still download it though um, what you want to do is go to file open a picture um, most pictures turn up as JPEG this is just a random one that I had for um, a mix I was doing. Um, basically, what you want to do is save that ooh, as a bitmap. Sorry. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's just easier doing it like this. Um, save as a BMP. Unfortunate name. Um, right. I've already got one saved as BMP, so we'll just save that and keep that in the background. Okay, next you want Audacity. Um, all these programs are free to download and use. And okay, so you go to File, go to Import, and then you go down to Raw Data. Then you go through the things here, go into your downloads or wherever your picture is, load it up there. This wants to be changed to ULaw. Um, I don't know if this actually does anything, but I sometimes change it to Big Enders. It's for the rules. And then import. And what you have here is your wonderful wonderful picture now um with pictures they generally have a header and a footer um if you go beyond either of those the picture won't work so what you want to do is come down to the bottom and you'll see the start and the end of the selection um what i usually do is make that three that seems to work and then you just, to be fair, just select the whole thing. And then, there you go. Select a bit of that. And then you go to your effects. Now these are all different effects you can get. So we'll just take a random bit. And then we'll add some echo there. We'll add some hmm, reverse. Add some hmm, wah wah. Let's make this all crazy. Um, if you change any of the sliders, it will have an effect like it would with sound. So let's just apply that there. Which is just horrible. <laughs> and we'll put some distortion in there. What have we got? Let's see what any of these do. Let's put that on full. Sometimes as well, it look like your files have actually done things, like as you can see here. But sometimes you will end up with blank bits, whereas some bits it'll look almost as if it's been completely not mutated, but nothing's changed. So a lot of this is just trial and error. So then you want to export as. 
audio. Change this to other uncompressed files. Change that to raw headerless. And sign that to you or and then save that as EBM raw. Now minimize that window and bring back up this old thingy. And then we should go to open. Now here's the problem because I can't remember where anything is. Um I think it might be in downloads. Ah. Uh, Two seconds, please. And there you go. There's a few effects. I'll just zoom in a bit there for you. There you go. Different effects have different color changes, various things. Um, it's just getting out there and creating really and seeing what you can do um, it's all trial and error I mean most of my art is made in this way or occasionally I do a few overlays with Photoshop or a couple of other apps uh, Glitch is really good for Android um, but mainly yeah that's how I do it and also you get if I can do this <laughs> Uh, nah, that's fine. Um, you can actually play the file back. I don't know if this sounds horrible, but I sometimes get music samples like this. So yeah, that's another bonus being a glitch artist and musician. You can really get some weird sounds out of them. Anyway, I hope that you're enjoying. And good luck. Happy creating. As always, can't be bothered to say. <laughs> Catch you soon.